Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're doing the much anticipated M2 versus RS3 video. So you see I got my 2024 M2 on the left here and the 2024 8Y Audi RS3. So both these cars are very similar in price point. So I know a lot of people do cross shop them, but let's go ahead and start off here in the front. So styling, obviously completely different styling, right? So the RS3 looks a little bit more conservative with its styling. The M2, uh, a little bit more aggressive, definitely a little bit more bold. What are your thoughts on the styling? I think it's the opposite. I think that one looks more aggressive. You think the RS3 looks more aggressive than the yeah. M2? Okay. By the way, guys, I have Jason here. He's helping me uh, not only drive the RS3, but he's also gonna be sharing his thoughts too, so you guys get someone else's perspective instead of just mine. But I think the M2 looks a little bit more aggressive, looks a little bit more um, bold for sure. The RS3 does have that cool blacked out grill and stuff, but I don't know. I just think the M2 looks more aggressive. So let's come down the sides here. Headlights, they both have LED headlights. The M2 has adaptive headlights. The RS3 does not have adaptive headlights, but it does have a cornering light. Come down the side here. M2 has 19 inch wheels, six piston brakes. RS3 also has 19 inch wheels with six piston brakes. The M2 has 20s in the rear, whereas the RS3 has 19s all around. But the RS3 is a reverse stagger, so the front is a 265 and the back is a 245. Whereas the M2, the front is a 275 and the back is a 285. Looking at the back, we got 20 inch wheels. They both have a single piston uh, caliper in the rear. The M2 does have drilled rotors, whereas the uh, RS3 just has regular rotors. Looking at the back, obviously two completely different designs. The M2, um, a lot more boxy uh, design. The RS3 looks more like a normal sedan in the back. The M2 has real quad exhaust tips, and the RS3 has these oval cutouts in the bumper. Both look good in my opinion. What do you think, Jason? What do you think looks better in the rear? M2. The M2 looks better in the rear? Okay. Cool, so they both look good. The RS3 is a little bit more clean. The M2 looks a little bit more bold, a little bit more beefy. And if you guys look at the sides here, you can see the RS3 has that wide front fender because it does have a wide body in the front, but the rear is kind of skinny. Whereas the M2 has a wide body in both the rear and the front. And it has that big side sill. So um, I'd say the M2, I'd say styling the M2 I think looks a little bit better, but the RS3 looks a little bit more conservative, a little bit more clean. You know I like my four doors though. Yeah, he does like four doors. He's, he's not a coupe fan. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, pop the hood on both and check out the powertrain. All right guys, just pop the hood on both. Let's start off with the M2. The M2 has the S58 engine. It's a three liter twin turbo inline six. BMW claims it makes 453 horsepower and 406 pound feet of torque. Looking over here at the RS3, it's got a 2.5 liter inline five single turbo. Audi claims it makes 401 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque. So the M2 definitely makes more power. The RS3 is around 3,600 pounds, maybe a little bit lighter. M2 is right around 3,800 pounds. So RS3 is lighter but makes less power. M2 is heavier but makes actually a lot more power in the real world, which we'll find out a little bit later in this video. And they both have hydraulic hood struts and they both have engine covers. This one you can expect to get around 29 mpg on the highway. The M2 you can expect to get around 24, 25 on the highway. So the RS3 does have a little bit better fuel economy. All right guys, now that we got the walk around completed, let's go ahead and talk about the comfort of each vehicle. So Jason, what are your thoughts on the comfort of RS3 since you drove it over here? Very comfortable. It's comfortable for you? Yeah. And how tall are you? 5'11". 5'11". Okay, so I'm six foot six, so obviously it's a little less comfortable for me, but let me go ahead and sit inside here. So you can see we got the nice Napa leather seats. So when I sit inside, uh, my uh, leg right here is kind of like close to this transmission tunnel. So it's really close right here, unfortunately. Headroom is also super close. It has a sunroof and my head is literally like brushing the top. So I kind of have to slouch in the seat a little bit. Overall, it's not bad. The door panel does kind of come out far. So like it kind of touches my knee over here. There's not a lot of wiggle room. So it definitely feels tight in here. The dash feels a lot closer to you than the M2, uh, but let's go ahead and check out the M2 and see what that's like. All right, guys. We <laughs> so we got we got Jason here in the back, can barely fit. <laughs> How's your headroom like? The headroom's not really good. The legroom's definitely not good, but keep in mind his seat's super far back. So if 
most people driving this car, the seat would be more far forward. I'm sure to have better legroom. Yeah. But legroom aside, the headroom's pretty rough back here. Yeah, the headroom kind of sucks, and I'm then it's on just the ceiling right now. yeah, it's just super tight. And he's five eleven, by the way, so I'm six foot six. Obviously, I can't can't sit in the back of this car at all. However, I will give the W to the RS3 by having the four doors, so it is easier to get in the back. If you can get back there, you it's easier to get in the back. Obviously, having four doors. Yeah. So let's go and check out the M2 and see what that's like. You're probably not gonna be able to get in the back of this I mean, one. Maybe try. maybe the passenger side. I'll I'll let you try the passenger side. Okay, got my notes here, so let me uh, move those to the back here. All right, so here's the M2 seats. We got the nice leather seats. They're Vernasca leather on the M2. Go ahead and hop in here. So the M2, um, it's a little. It takes a little bit more effort to get in it because you kind of have to drop into it instead of the RS3 is a little bit more of a even step in height. Oh, there you go. Oh, I don't want to crunch your legs. Okay. So my leg room up here is really good on the M2. There's lots of leg room. There's lots of wiggle room with my knee as well. So it's not like brushed up against this like transmission tunnel like it is in the RS3. Um, once I close the door, you can see over on this side, see all this space between me and the door. So I have a lot of room to like move my, my leg around in this car. And then the headroom, since it doesn't have a sunroof, is amazing. I have lots of room. I can completely stretch out my head and have no issues touching the top how's the back so the headroom's pretty good in the front can't say the same for the back <laughs> um what about the leg room the leg room's all right i i'm it varies by who's sitting in it like your seat i could not sit in right now there's, yeah so behind my seat there's not there's a space yeah not any space back there the seat. you know good for small children definitely not putting grown people in this yeah exactly so would you say as far as like storage space or as far as like comfort, would you say it goes to the RS3 or the M2? Definitely the RS3. Yeah. Think I don't so? know, the M2 okay. has a big trunk though. Okay, well let's check out the trunk. All right guys, just pop the trunk on both vehicles. Let's check out the RS3 first. So the RS3 has a decent amount of trunk space. It's not huge. The floor is kind of high. There's not like a lot of room between the floor and the top, but it goes in there pretty deep. You guys probably can't see on the camera. It's kind of dark, but it goes in there pretty deep. Check out the M2. I think the M2 has a slightly better opening. What do you think? Yeah. Okay, the M2 has a slightly better opening. And then the trunk space is wider. Um, I'd say lengthwise is similar to the RS3, but it looks like it's a little bit wider. What do you think? I mean, for a two-door, it's really good. Mm -hmm. For a four-door, that's not too good. Okay. Like that. Now, what would you say about comparing this car versus that one as far as like the trunk space? Trunk space, well, with the Audi, you can't fold the seats down. You can fold the seats down this one too. <laughs> then I don't know what to say. It's pretty similar. I'd say the M2 is actually slightly better. It's a little bit deeper. So I'd say the M2 is a little bit better with trunk space. All right, we've got Jason in the driver's seat of the M2. How does this feel as far as space? Pretty good. Does it feel better than the RS3? Space-wise, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was Especially saying in my in my videos and stuff. Like for me being tall and stuff, it has way more room for the driver. Right. I mean, even with the sunroof, I'm not touching it, but it still feels close. Yeah. So this is plenty of headroom right here and the this area feels wider yeah exactly that's what i was saying because like my legs are long so i kind of have my legs like twisted a little bit and it's nice having all that room to move my legs around whereas on my uh whereas on the rs3 like this part kind of comes in close and then also the transmission tunnel comes in close too all right guys next up let's talk about the technology of both vehicles so they both have front and rear parking sensors uh you can't get a 360 camera on either of them they both have led headlights they both have a backup camera. They both have power folding mirrors. This one has a puddle light. This one also has a puddle light. They also have turn signals in the mirrors. They also have the blind spot monitor. So the BMW has a blind spot monitor and then the Audi does kind of on the inner part of the mirror. They both have smart key where you just walk up and open the door without pulling out the key, which is nice. The RS3 even has it on the back doors, which is kind of cool. They both take premium gas. They both have a valved exhaust. The M2 is definitely a much significant or a much more significant difference from open to close than the RS3 is. You can definitely notice it, but this one it's like on off switch. And then this one is like, it goes from like being quiet to like a little bit better. As far as the interior, they both have heated seats. So they both have heated leather seats. They both have power uh, driver and passenger seats. The M2 does have power bolsters, whereas this one doesn't. 
So the M2, you can actually tighten the bolsters on like the, the backrest of the seat. They both have memory seats. Getting inside, both cars have a digital gauge, but the M2 has a much bigger, more modern looking screen. This one has a nice screen in the middle, but it's not as big and uh, nice looking as the M2. They both have a nice leather steering wheel. I think the M2 is a little bit nicer. And it also, um, the M2 has a little bit more thickness on the steering wheel as well. The inside is decent on this car. However, you can tell that it's definitely like the bottom end of Audi, like with some of the materials and stuff, like especially around here, they're kind of cheap plastics and stuff. And the carpet feels kind of cheap. The interior is pretty nice as far as technology is concerned, but let's go check out the M2. All right, guys, hopping in the M2. You can see we got the same power adjustments on the seat, but you do have the adjustable bolsters right here, like I mentioned. Memory seats, the cool ambient lighting. Both cars have ambient lighting. The M2's ambient lighting is pretty much the same as the RS3. I'd say the RS3 maybe has a tiny bit more ambient lighting. The M2 steering wheel looks a lot better in my personal opinion. Um, it definitely feels better too with the thickness and the nice smooth leather and stuff. This part looks a lot more high quality than the RS3 does, having the carbon fiber and stuff, having this nice shifter. Um, the materials, they feel similar. Um, I'd say the M2s may be slightly nicer. This screen definitely is a lot more modern looking, a lot nicer uh, than the RS3 for sure. I know some people don't like the huge iPad style, but um, I think this screen definitely looks way more modern, way nicer than the RS3. And the seats, they're both nice. The RS3 does have Nappa leather, which is a little bit nicer than uh, the Vernasca in this M2, but I'd say the seats are pretty much 50-50. They both look good. Back seat, um, both cars don't have heated seats in the back, but the RS3 does have climb control in the back. So that's one difference. All right, Jason, what do you think about the technology of both cars? What car do you think looks nicer or has nicer materials or just looks more like higher quality? Yeah, I definitely like the screens in the M2 and the seats just because they're bucket seats. I like how it kind of holds you, especially mm -hmm. with how you drive it, which is nice. It really keeps <laughs> me in there. But, I mean, they're very similar. At okay. The end of the day. I mean, it's got the same stuff. I mean, this has two screens. That has two screens. I mean, it's, they're very similar vehicles inside. Okay. And then, what would if you were to give the W to one car as far as like interior quality or more features or more amenities, which one would you give it to? Probably the M2, just because the carbon fiber and the bucket seats. Just well, this one does have bucket seats too. Yeah, but they're not as noticeable. Okay, I mean, that's fair. I think they, the, both of the seats look good, but the M2, I feel like, is a nicer interior. And plus, this interior is the same interior you can get on a, a $100,000 M3, M4, whereas this interior is the same that you get on an A3. Yeah. Pretty much. pretty much. So this is like much higher quality in my personal opinion. All right, guys, so that pretty much sums up the RS3 versus M2 comparison video as far as like the interior, the exterior, the features, just talking about it. The next video you guys will see will be comparing the driving dynamics between both. Um, one thing I forgot to mention on the outside is that the M2 does have the option for this nice carbon roof, which definitely makes it look kind of like a step above the RS3, just having the, the black for the sunroof up there. But I wanna hear what you guys think in the comments below. Which one would you pick and why? Stay tuned for part two and possibly part three. We might race these videos too, or race these cars too. So definitely stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. Share your thoughts in the comments below and I will see you in the next one.